Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Laura, this is the start of a haul. And hi, welcome, welcome back. I'm not sure. Um, I should also probably say like, it's been a while. At least it feels like it's been a while. I know it's been a couple weeks since I filmed a video because my school year started. <laughs> um, I'm a teacher, if you were not aware. I know a lot of you know this. <sighs> I started in a new school and it has been quite an adjustment and a whole lot of crazy. So yeah, halls are easier for me than plan with me's. So here we are. <laughs> and even this, this has been sitting for a few days. So if that tells you anything, um, I have a Simply Gilded order as well as my Glam Planner mystery for the month. Um, I do have some other things that are supposed to be coming in. But y'all, who knows? I order things and like they take a bajillion years to get here. So I don't know. I have a Lexi Kylie design order that that poor girl, she has had so many issues with like weather, natural disasters, power outages, like, oh my goodness. And then um, Oodle Madoodle in like, I think the UK, I don't know. I ordered like months ago in like June and it hasn't arrived. I contacted them and they're resending my whole order. So yeah, I feel bad because that was a really expensive order, but I had tracking and they can't locate it. So they were really nice about it. Um, anyways, what I actually have in front of me is Simply Gilded and Glam Planner. So, um... I don't know. I think I'll start with Simply Gilded. So I did order, um, this was from one of her recent releases. Tamara and I also ordered from the fall presale, which like, you guys, I think this is the order after the presale. And it was like the very next day. And I was like, what is even happening? <laughs> it was like the day after the presale ended. And I was like, what is Irene trying to do to us? Um, but I did pick up some albums that were previously released i think this one was from a sub and then i think these were previously released and i had passed these up prior and then i was like i think i need a couple more summary ones because i have been reorganizing my stickers i have some like other organization things happening that are really really cool i'm very excited about them um but i wanted some more summary ones for my kits because my albums are just like if you store albums or if you store kits in these, they get really thick really fast. And I was like, I just need a little bit more so I can kind of not have them so squishy, which you don't get to use like all the sleeves then, but I'd rather have them not be quite so squishy um, because they kind of get misshapen. So I guess that's my my like trade off. Um, this one is so cute, though. It's like a pale blue and it has like holographic stars on it which is just adorable like I said I'm pretty sure this is from a subscription it might have been from whale tail I'm not positive I wonder if it says on my invoice which one it is from um the yeah whale tail sea stars with silver hardware is this one um and then we have the Safiano Lemonade, and then the Pink and White Parfait are these other two. Um, but this is what they look like. If you don't know, this is the large size. There is a small size also, um, but there is a little scalloped pocket. And then these sleeves, which you can slide stickers in. Not all kits fit in these sleeves, but they do a pretty good job. And some of my bigger kits, I kind of just stick them in the back or even sometimes like between um, in the middle. Um, and you know they stick out the top but you can usually get it closed so that's kind of what i do um but yeah this is safiano lemonade which that name alone just like makes me want to go to italy <laughs> um and if you know me at all you know i love yellow <laughs> tamara even bought this one like when it first came out she was like i can't resist the yellow and i was like i know i know i know i feel like there's a like plastic protector on here but I might be dreaming it might be a reflection um this one is all yellow on the inside that one feels really nice 
um, like the leather or the faux leather. They are fake leather. And then what was this pink, pink and white parfait? Um, this one is really, really soft. So this one has definitely like a, this is like a much thicker texture, this Safiano. These ones are much more like squishy, buttery. This one is definitely like more structured um, versus this like really marshmallowy texture. Um, I like both, but if you were going to have like a bag or something made out of it like this one would hold up a lot better than this um because this is very like I said marshmallowy <laughs> um and this one is just white on the inside oh you guys I had so many in my cart so, like there was like a watermelon one um that was like green with the I think it's like pink or red or something on the inside so cute but I decided to go with these more kind of pastel colors um and two that are kind of patterned summery springish so adorable those are the large albums they're like 20 ish 22 23 dollars a piece and then we did tamara and i get some washi um quite a bit of this is mine you guys i don't know i'm not even like planning like <laughs> what am i doing buying all this washi plus the pre-sale oh my goodness i don't know i will get back into planning eventually like i just need a schedule. Um, I did just also order two planners to help with that because, you know, my current planners are working so well for that purpose. <laughs> um, but no, really, like I got a teacher planner because I needed one. And then also um, I'm going to try to switch up like my daily planning. I use my um, like my weekly schedule pad from Erin Condren, which kind of just looks like this every day. And I've been using this for, I think all of, all of this year for sure. Did I use one last year? I can't quite remember. I think I didn't, I think I used a different type of pad last year, but then I have another one of these for next year, which I may hold off on, but the planner I bought is going to kind of take the place of this and it has a section like this but it also has a more structured section so I can actually focus on some things instead of just being like okay this is what I did or this is what I need to do every day um as far as like appointments and Pilates and stuff it has a little bit more structure so I can maybe I don't know work towards some things even though my life is kind of hard right now so we'll see anyways these are the journaling cards there's kind of a watercolor marble with a rose gold moon um and then this ice cream one which is adorable it has blue background with gold foil and then we got some animal print seals these ones are a little bit smaller than normal um and then this like flamingo it says fancy which is very cute um with a hollow like a pink hollow and then this little bow with the light green foil um and then oh man i have no idea um give me uno momento Okay, you guys, I'm just going to go in the order of my invoice. So this first set here is the metallic leopard and black bow. Um, I'm going to say it's a little hard to see the black bow on this print. Um, I'm not sure what it's like when you roll it out, but it is a little hard to see. I would say on the 15, it's a little easier to see because the bow is thicker um, and the print is actually smaller. Um, I mean, it might just be like the randomness of the print, but I feel like the print is smaller on the 15 and a little bigger on the 10. I don't know. It might, like I said, it might just be the randomness of the print. Um, and then the bow is bigger and thicker and then the bow is skinnier here. So it's a little hard to see, but it's still really pretty. The washi itself is like metallic, um, and very, very cool. So that's gonna be an interesting one to play with, but that is the metallic leopard with a black bow. Um, let me like put these somewhere and I need to separate them because uh, 
of what Tamara ordered. And then this is the Scribble Prince Co. Marble and Rose Gold Foil. And I feel like they posted that this was a different marble than what had been released before by Scribble Prince Co. And um, I think I think just Scribble Prince Co. had a marble washi. I don't think it was a collab before, but I can't remember. But I know I own a Scribble Prince Co. marble. So I don't remember. <laughs> um, but that's the Scribble Prince Co. marble. And then this is the gray checkerboard and light gold foil here. So it's just a gray and white checkerboard with a light gold like this. And then we have the shade Stardust. I just fell in love with this color. Um, it's kind of like this deep purpley blue. Um, just really gorgeous and then it has silver holographic and aurora pink foil um just super super gorgeous i feel like it may be like one of the inky stardust that we had from the previous uh pre-sale but i don't think it's the same i'd have to pull those out if it's the exact same i mean it can't be because it doesn't say inky like in the name but I don't know it's stunning it's just like this perfect purpley blue where you're kind of like is it blue is it purple and it's going to kind of depend what you pair it with as far as like what does it lean so I really love that <laughs> um and then I got the tiger print of course this is black with orange foil um which is definitely more orange than like a copper. Um, it's very, very orange. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but like I had to buy it because it's tiger print, right? Like I'll figure out something to do with it. But um, I thought it was really fun. <laughs> I have a couple other like tiger-ish washies. Um, so it might be fun to pair them. And then I did go ahead and pick up this little like sweet treat. Um, it's ice cream dream on the white background with like gold foil. There was like a donut one of this, um, and then like a, ooh, not donuts, but like just sweet treat, like candies or something, and I've kind of regretted not having something of this nature, um, so while this was still available with the white background, I was like, meh, I'll just get it, um, but it's very, very cute. And then I did go ahead and pick up the pink and blue peonies. I skipped the peach with the butterflies because I like butterflies, but I don't like gush over them like I do with flowers so I picked up the pink with the rose gold and the blue with the silver um with the peony floral pattern and like I said I skipped the butterflies even though they were gorgeous I was just like I can do without <laughs> um so that's these I really like the blue one with the silver rose gold is just not my like absolute favorite and then this whole set was called the ink and lilac mist bundle um Tamara wanted certain parts of this anyways um and I definitely wanted like the stardust and the five millimeters and all of the things so I think Tamara just wanted the bows here um but I was gonna get the stardust and stuff anyways so I just went ahead and got the bundle um and I'll split it appropriately but you have the ink and what is this called lilac mist um here and they have the aurora pink uh foil which is like a light pink holographic kind of thing um and they're very cool this is like a really really deep navy or so um it's definitely not a black this color is a little i think it's a little lighter and then because it has like a coppery ish or rose gold foil on it it makes it look a little different also um but it's very very cool so this is the lilac mist and then the ink i guess um but in the stardust and then the bows so 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 fun um so that is that and again i need to pull those out for tomorrow um so i think i keep all of these i can't quite remember I gotta look at my text messages. <laughs> um, but that is my Simply Gilded order. And then this is the Glam Planner subscription for 
August. So I get the Teenies and then the Lux subscription, which is like her full, full on situation. Um, and I can't say that I've even seen like a preview or anything, so I have no idea what's coming. Um, it looks like we have girls with roller skates, not even like a roller blade. Like this is like an old fashioned roller skate, which is too funny. Um, so they all have like a little blue outfit on and then a roller skate. I could have used this a couple years ago. I needed a roller skating sticker. Um, these are like kind of just like in like a closet or like a clothes rack situation. They could be for shopping because there's a purse, but it could also just be like that there's a purse in like this closet scene, um, which I think is kind of nice. Um, because it makes it a little more versatile. Um, like I said, she could be shopping or she could just be at home looking through her clothes, decluttering her clothes, organizing, just like not knowing what to wear, um, getting ready. She could be like in her daughter's closet, like her son's closet, like who knows, um, packing anything. And then this, I can't quite tell if it's like, just like celebration like is it confetti um I feel like it's just confetti it doesn't look like leaves or candy or anything like that I feel like it's just confetti which is just cute so maybe just like a generic celebration so we have roller skates clothes in a closet and or shopping and then um, confetti, maybe? Sometimes I'm a little lost as to what they are. And then here is the Lux subscription. So we have the foil included and then like all of the extras. And again, this is the mystery kit for August. Um, but I like to get to just the like kit kit first oh my gosh there's so much stuff okay so here is the kit um you guys this is such perfect timing so my 20th high school reunion was this past Saturday today is Monday and I have a kit from Scribble Prince Co that was very kind of like 80s 90s themed from earlier this year what was it like her seven year anniversary kit or something I can't remember I don't know. Maybe it was a mystery kit. I can't remember. Um, but I was like, I want to use that in one of my planners, but I was like, what am I going to use in the other planner? And I had no idea and I didn't plan anything and I can now use this one. Oh my gosh. Cause it's got like a little Walkman, the Game Boy, the roller skates. Like it's so retro. Oh, that's perfect. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. I love it. I didn't go. Um, because I'm in Colorado and it was in Wisconsin, but just to like, I mean, how often does your 20 year anniversary or your 20 year reunion come around? You know what I mean? Um, and like I was on the Facebook group and stuff, so I saw like a lot of pictures and commented and things, but oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect. What does this say? Recovering from being alone by being alone. Um, the gumball machine. This is too funny. Okay, so it's just like a roller disco themed. There is purple ketchup on the hamburger. Hilarious. If you are too young for purple ketchup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the background on these boxes. It says, sorry, we're skating. Check back again soon. The guitars are so cute. The colors are really fun. Oh my goodness. This is so perfect, you guys. And, like, I would not use this for anything else. Like, I have no idea when else I would use this kit. So, oh, my gosh. I'm just going to leave this out and back plan last week. Too funny. This is, like, this reminds me of um, Polly Pocket. I was going to say Littlest Pet Shop, but that was definitely not the same thing. <laughs> Polly Pocket, for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. OMG. I gotta say, this little, like, purple thing right here, it makes it look like it's, like, coming out of her crotch. Um, the foil is, like, hollow. Hollow. So, these are for, like, the main full boxes. And then there's, like, 
extra so that it looks like there's a double box. There's like star um, header overlays it looks like. Okay, so we have like an I love you shirt. These like really chunky, did people at your school sell those kind of lollipops? Like we had them all the time. And then you'd like have this gigantic lollipop and it never went away. And I don't know, there's bubble gum. I love the hot pink nails. Um, let's see. This is like an arcade. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. You have the extra boxes. The girls who do not look amused at all. And then the four colors, which this looks like peeps. And then you have roller skate bottom washi. That is too funny. Oh my gosh, this is an overlay with the stars. You guys, this is so perfect. There was no roller skating involved. It's just very like, you know, nostalgic, I suppose, of like being younger for me. I'm I'm 38, so <sighs> yes, this is just gonna be a great kid for that. <laughs> I definitely went roller skating growing up, so yes that is too funny i'm going to use that as my memories i'll use the other kit as like my actual memory planner kit but this i'll put in my spread for um my planner for this past week so that is perfect and then i have the teenies and my simply gilded order and then whatever else pops in for the mail um yeah anyways um let me know uh how many years it's been since you graduated down below. Did you go to your reunions? If so, I haven't been to any. Um, I was like in Wisconsin for the first, like for the fifth year reunion, I think, because I was in college, but we all like would just go to the bar when I was in town anyways. So I never went to the fifth year reunion. I don't even think we had one because we were all like, this is dumb. And then I after that, I was never in town because I was in Colorado. So I haven't never been to one. I would go if I was in town. I just haven't been in town. But I still get together with people from my high school. So, you know, that's that's just how it goes. <laughs> and, like, I was, like, at my high school this past summer. Like, I went and visited teachers. So, um, you know, I'm still pretty connected. But it would have been nice to go. Anyways, that is my order. I need to go to bed. I will talk to you guys in the next part of the haul. Catch you in a little bit. All right, you guys, I am back with the last of my haul um, for this video anyways. I have Simply Gilded. I think this is Glam. Nope, Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, my Walmart Beauty Box, which I haven't gotten in quite a while, so I thought that'd be fun to show you guys. And the bottom box is my Erin Condren warehouse order. Um, I didn't order a ton because I have ordered a lot, a lot of stuff in previous um, Erin Condren warehouse orders, so I didn't, like, there wasn't a lot of other, like, brand new things, and there also just wasn't a lot that I needed um, or even really wanted necessarily because I own a lot of Erin Condren products and I've bought a lot of Erin Condren products in the past like year, year and a half or so. Um, I kind of have like stocked up and like some things just come out in like new colors and things like that and I didn't necessarily need them. You guys know Kaleidoscope was like my jam so <laughs> I bought like anything and everything Kaleidoscope so I did not, however, buy the Kaleidoscope, like, grab bag thing because I figured, A, I probably would own a lot of the items that I would have wanted in the Kaleidoscope bundle, and then um, the stuff that I didn't already own, I probably didn't want. So I didn't take that risk, and seeing, like, what people got in their, like, different bundles, I'm pretty glad that, like, I didn't take that risk because it was a lot of, like, dashboards and stuff, so... um yeah, I almost did, but then I was like, no, think about what's on the site right now and in the, like, warehouse sale, and then, like, think about what would be in that bundle. <laughs> so, didn't do that. Um, but I will uh, start and just go top down. So, um, let me move this. And I think we were doing Simply Gilded 
in the prior part of this video, but this is my subscription that like arrived yesterday, today, I don't even know. Um, like recently, must have been yesterday because today is Sunday. Um, but yeah, ooh, this is very like, very fancy gold packaging. And I forget the name of this one also. I just saw it, it was like desert. Oh man, now I'm gonna wanna like look it up. Free Range. So this was called Free Range. No, this is called, no, Free Range was the previous one. This is like luxurious library or something really cool. I was so excited. Luminous library. Oh my gosh, very, very excited about this one. Okay, so this is the like really gorgeous bag that's printed here. Oh, so excited. And then we have the card. It has like a tan background. It says read and then has the books on it. Very cute. And then I don't even know what we're getting. Like we get pictures um, in email, but sometimes they're very like kind of washed out and sometimes they're just very pale. Um, so it can be kind of hard to see. So these are the main washi. So obviously you have the bow and then you have this like very pretty kind of ornate looking blue washi. We have the work and then the like, this is a header washi, um, like a perforated header. And then there's a floral. I guess a floral with bows. Oh, and it's got books on it. I think it looks like this. I think it's the same pattern, but um, I think it has a pink background. But yeah, I think those are books floating around on it. And then it has like a bookshelf washi. So that's the box. So the tan with a polka dot is the bow here. Really, really pretty. And then um, we have the five millimeter add-on. So we have the brown vine washi, the blue with the gold, um, like half and half. And there is some blue like in the floral on here. Um, and then we have the like, like dust, stardusty type, like up and down kind of pattern. I never know what to call that. Um, and it has a heart and then there's kind of like just a sprinkle it has like little asterisky type things in it and then like stars and like little confetti all over on a peach um this color I'm not exactly sure what to call it there's like a it's kind of like a milky coffee color <laughs> and then you have like the darker browns in here and then you have the tans because these two are not the same color um like this one is definitely like a milky version of this kind of darker chocolate brown um, even though that that's like a light a lighter chocolate it's not deep at all um, and then that one's even paler but it's definitely not as sandy as this other like tan color um, that darker blue in there is a fun like royal pop of color though um, I really like it this book washi is super gorgeous also I'm curious how much blue is in there like when you roll it out because you can definitely see there's like a blue book in there oh my gosh it's really really gorgeous and again this was called luminous library i know there was like um i think i think one of these type pouches with the zipper um and it, i think it's like white and has like a bow on the front um yeah, I like I'm scrolling through the pictures of like the whole subscription. Um, there's one of these in that. I picked this one up from the Fawn collection um, like after the fact and I really like it. I'm actually using this right now with my new work planner. Um, I just kind of stuffed it full of stuff for that planner. <laughs> um, so I might have to pick up that other one because I actually really like those. They're kind of handy. Um, so... Yeah, but then there's like obviously stickers and a pen and everything, but this is the washi set. So there's one, two, 
three 15 millimeters and then one, two, three 10 millimeters. And then there's like um, a seven millimeter and then there are four five millimeter washi. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 total washies and a journaling card plus the always gorgeous reusable bag, which is honestly like it's a nice part of the sub. I say that every week, but it's not every week, every month. Um, it's honestly a nice feature to get a bag that is reusable because um, they're not junk. Um, if they were just like crappy bags, that would be unfortunate because you get them monthly. So it's nice that they are something that you can use. All right, this package is Lexi Kylie Designs, like I said, and I ordered this a very long time ago, but she had quite a few issues um, as she was fulfilling orders. <laughs> um, she had like, I think a tornado or a hurricane or something. And then there was power outage and I forget what else she had happened. There was a whole bunch of stuff that happened to her. Um, and she just, she kept everybody in the loop. Um, but it took a long time. I ordered this on July 24th and today is August 29th. And I got this like a couple days ago. So, um, but she kept us informed and I didn't need any of it like right now because this August kit, even though it's like the end of August, is for my planner that's like back planning, like memory keeping so it was totally fine um she does have a code I think you can use she used to always write more LKD um it's this is cute though it says caution may spark joy um and it has her branding on it she's always done a good job I have shopped with her shop for so long I can't even tell you um like I it's been it's been so long like as long as her shop has been open um I think like it's been forever. Um, this, uh, oh yeah, here's the more LKD. Um, so I'm covering up this QR code because I film with my phone and I'm afraid that my phone is going to pick this up and then like take me to the website while I'm filming. So, um, there is a QR code on here, but you do get more LKD for 10% off. And I will leave that code down below with her like actual link. So you can just click on it and not use the QR code for <laughs> for that and then it says you got this sis with florals on the back so that's cute that it's double-sided um and then you can like take it with you um in your planner and you'll have her code to shop plus the coupon code that's very clever um and she has started doing foil which is um, crazy cool this is my first order from her where I have purchased foil um because I hadn't purchased from her shop in a while I have so many of her stickers and this is like a little um Halloween kind of themed thank you it says uh, Lexi Kylie designs this is no really thank you um there's costume shop haunted house trick-or-treat scary movie night pumpkin carving and Halloween I actually purchased my costume yesterday <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to need it or not um I don't know what my new school is like as far as costumes like if there's a costume day or anything I typically don't ever do anything for Halloween or dress up or anything but I found a very simple two pieces that I could buy to make a costume and I could just like wear other clothes that I have for everything else and I was like we're gonna buy that now because like heaven knows if I try to buy it like in October it'll probably be sold out um and then I'll be sad so I'm just gonna buy it now so I actually bought a costume um so yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, so like I said, I purchased an August monthly for my rewind planner. Um, she actually just announced, I think yesterday that she's changing her monthly format. So the format I'm about to show you is no longer. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> um, so I do have the seven by nine main kit, which is like the Erin Condren size kit. Um, this kit was called Wander. Um, I didn't go anywhere in August. I just loved the vibe for like late summer that like hot. It's still like in the 90s here. It's very dry. Um, Colorado is a semi-arid desert. And although this reminds me much more of like Arizona, um, I just, I really, really, really fell in love with this <laughs> and I thought I would get it. So it says August, there's a moon. Um, it says not all who wander are lost, which is not my favorite quote. 
but like it's small and I don't really care. Um, but I love the colors and I just thought it was really fun. I do have family that live in Arizona. Um, my aunt, my aunt that actually died earlier this year, um, was one of them that lived in Arizona. So this is also a nice kind of memory of her. Uh, my uncle and stuff still live there, my cousins. Um, I love these new like shapes that she has in her kit. She actually has more of them in the new format. Um, and then there's paydays and birthday labels and then like other various things that you can use. Um, she does holidays and then you can put the days like if you want to re- date your planner or you can just keep the way it is or if your planner doesn't have dates you can put the days of the week wherever they are and then you can put the dates over them um and then there's like a full box sticker here so so gorgeous so this is the main kit and then i can't remember if i picked this up separately or if you get to choose like what your sidebar is i can't really remember um but there's like a like the stream going through the desert as my sidebar sticker so there's that and then I picked up this add-on which these add-ons are what are like mostly going away um so this is a financial add-on so there are a ton of build do's and some like different build you kind of icons so she kind of incorporated a little bit more of this into the main kit and then I also picked up the box add-on um just for some more like boxes and labels and um although August doesn't have any holidays. It's my start of the school year. So I know I personally have a ton of things to mark in August. And then I also picked up the Wander Deco. These are clear, um, like matte stickers. And I just thought they'd be fun to either put in there or in a different planner, whatever. Just thought they were, thought they were fun. I've actually used some of this deco before for like a road trip kit. Um, so that was interesting. <laughs> and then I picked up a bunch of other deco for the same reason, like just to use in um, either my planning roses planner if I ever back plan in there and like journal and stuff, or I can save it for the same type of planner for next year. So this was like a Halloween one. This is Raven deco. Um, and I got these ones on white because um, I thought that would be more practical. Um, Apple picking deco. And there were kits and stuff that went with all these. I just only wanted the deco. <laughs> um, this is Autumn Splendor. I love this pumpkin that has the like leopard print on it. So cute. This is called Change. Very autumnal colors. I love this book with the like tea and the leaves. This one is called Stay Chic. Again, it has more leopard, but this one has like summer colored flowers. Still kind of a little bit fall. The, the boots always remind me of like fall fashion. Um, and then I picked up movie night. Um, I have a ton of like different kind of movie night stickers. Um, but I liked these ones cause they weren't movie marquees, but they say movie night on them. Cause sometimes I just like throw a movie on and like, it's a movie I've seen a million times. So I don't necessarily want to mark like what movie I'm watching, if that makes sense. But like, I'm just having a movie night. <laughs> um, but, or I do both. Like I want to mark movie night. And I want to mark the movie, but, like, maybe I have a different way of marking the movie, like, a sticker um, to mark what the name of the movie is. And then I want to mark movie night. Or it's movie night more, like, at home versus, like, at the theater. Um, and this is a little more casual. So I think these are the, like, pastel colors. I think there's also brights. Um, but I think that's the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here's the, here's the bright colored... So I got both. I didn't know if I got both, but I did. <laughs> um, I also got the sleep in stickers. I have a ton of sleep in stickers, but most of them are foiled. Um, but I thought these were nice to pair on top of other foiled things, um, especially like half circles and hexagons and stuff like that. So I thought these were really cute. They have a tiny bit of color, um, but the font is really nice. This is actually like how I write my S's. Um, so. Yeah, very, very fun. Um, I got staff meeting stickers in the like pastel colorway. I don't know if I got the the other one. Probably not. I think because there was like a like purple and stuff, so I think I just got the more neutral colorway. Um, I got the doctor care stickers, and these are what I got in foil. So I got the rose gold, oops, <laughs> the gold, and I like these because there's 
um, kind of different things. So there's like the stethoscope, the shot, and then the band-aid. Um, I also do give blood, so I thought these would be really cute for giving blood. Um, and then there's two rows of like scripts that say doctor appointment, so I thought those were nice. And then here's the silver version. The foiling looks really, really nice, and these are also on white paper. I can't remember if you could get these on transparent, like this is um, transparent, the freebie. So you might have had the choice here, I can't remember. And then I did get the bill icons. Um, I thought these would be nice for my bill things. <laughs> um, I haven't done that before, but I've kind of had a hard time tracking, like, when is my electric bill? Because it kind of, like, moves around in the month. Um, so I thought it would be better if I could, like, as soon as I get the bill, like, in my email, like, mark down when it's coming. Um, because those always come out, like, when it's due. Like, I don't pay it early like it just is on auto pay and it just comes out the day it's due which that means it's always coming out a different day so that kind of thing I thought it would be nice to mark so there's like a house for like mortgage or rent a car you could do like car payment or car insurance depending on what you have um I have both unfortunately <laughs> um there's a phone um, like a light bulb for electric. There's water, which my water just goes with my rent, but um, I do get an actual like separate bill for water and trash um, that I can see, but it just gets tacked on with my rent. Um, this would be like gas, I guess, internet, and then um, like a credit card bill. Um, and they come in lots of colors. And then I did also, oh, I actually, yeah, I got two, two of the brights and then two of the neutrals so they're just like softer versions of the same thing and then I picked up the travel set um, because I had these quite a while ago and I've used up pretty much all of the stickers um, and I've kind of depleted quite a few of my travel stickers in general um, over the years and I haven't really needed a ton of them except for like car stuff the past year and a half or so but I figure I'll probably be flying at some point. I don't know about, like, I'll probably fly for Christmas. I'm guessing. I'm not totally positive. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I figure at some point I will have these. Need for these again. At least, like, I can use the luggage. Passports, I'm not sure, but those are kind of small, so it's fine. But I have airplanes, boarding passes, luggage, and then hotels. And hotels, like, were kind of nice, too, like... Um, I stayed in hotels like on my own um, recently, which I haven't done before. So, um, you know, I might do more of that. Um, but this is the colorful and then this is the neutral. Very nice. So that was a huge order from Lexi Kylie Designs, but um, I love that. I love her shop. That's usually how it goes. I'm like, I need one thing and then... Um, it's like 12 things later. I actually messaged her to see about um, like foiled football icons for um, football season, but I never heard back from her. Um, and then Lily and Miko said she would make some, so um, I'm gonna have to find that because it's almost football season and I still don't have some. I have white deer stationary football icons though, so. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is my Walmart beauty box. Um, they have raised the price from $5 to $6.95. I have not gotten this in quite a while, but um, yeah, that was a shock. They did raise the price. There's still no shipping. It's just, or that is the shipping cost. I don't know, whatever. That's the total price. Um, there's no additional shipping or anything, any additional price, however it works out. <laughs> that's, that's how much you pay. Um, and you fill out like info and this is this is what I got um so there is information here um a little bit about the products and this is the sunshine ready essentials for a head to toe glow um there's like a bit.ly link for products oh there's another QR code hopefully my phone behaves and then oh gosh there's another one um, and then more, more information here. Um, and then let's see, this is like just drug information for the sunscreen. So let's just start there. So there is Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Sunscreen in SPF 50. Um, very excited about this. I actually 
like having little sunscreens like this. They're great to throw in my purse like when I'm going places because I typically need to reapply um, because I'm very, very fair and it's nice to have something super small. This has titanium dioxide and zinc, zinc oxide, which I can wear both of those. Um, and this, the brand Cetaphil is usually a really good one, so, and I'm glad to see it's SPF 50. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about that. I like that. Um, let's see, we also got an extra gentle daily scrub from Cetaphil. I have not tried that before. I've tried other, like, moisturizers and uh, cleansers from them, but not the scrub or the sunscreen. So, cool. Very cool. I'm excited about both of those things. Um, I will say with the Walmart Beauty Box, it's more like, um, obviously, things you can get at Walmart, but that means they're, like, more affordable, typically, um, and... They're usually just like a travel size. Um, sometimes you'll get like a full size of a, like a beauty product, but um, typically a travel size. But I personally find them very practical products and I actually have used more products from my Walmart beauty box than any other beauty box I've ever gotten. I used to get Ipsy. I've gotten Birch, Birch Box. I've gotten BoxyCharm. I don't know about Birchbox. I've gotten BoxyCharm. I've gotten Sephora Beauty Box. I've gotten, um, there was like a lipstick one um, that's, I don't even know if they are still in existence anymore. <laughs> um, I have gotten like almost probably every beauty box on the market. And the Walmart Beauty Box is by far my favorite. Like just from a practicality standpoint, like these are things I actually take on vacation with me and actually use because they're stuff that's like usable like <laughs> they're just like products that like I naturally take with me instead of like trying to work them into my routine because I have no idea what to do with them um now is it nice to get like a luxury serum now and again like yeah but um most of the time I would get like perfumes I'll never wear or like you know just stuff that like I don't ever use so I find the Walmart beauty box to be like much more practical for me <laughs> um let's see this is find your happy place sun kissed sun kissed ocean waves hand cream sea salt and water blossom that sounds really nice um I'm not exactly sure of the brand is it find your happy place is that the brand I'm not totally positive this says mind space bliss um I will totally take this to work with me or put it in my purse I don't actually think I have I think the lotion I had in my purse I took to work and put in my desk so um I think I need a lotion for my purse so I will probably put this in there so yeah excited about that um this says there's no plastic on the tube and I might actually try it out right now just gonna throw that in there oh I just got it on my nose um it smells very watery like fresh oceany watery yeah it smells fresh I like it it's very nice and I kind of have a stuffed up nose but I can still smell it um but it's not overpowering like I think in a few minutes I won't even hardly notice it, but it'll be a, like a light, a light scent. It doesn't feel greasy. Um, it's sinking in fairly quickly, but not, not like it's gonna just like go away completely. Yeah, that actually feels really nice. I'm excited about that. Beautiful. Okay, what's next? Wakati, Wakati. Wakati. I'm thinking it's Wakati. Optimum moisture for finger detangling for natural hair. Water activated advanced conditioner with natural shea and jojoba oils. Paraben and sulfate free. Um, it's activated by water and provides for finger combable slip that unlocks tight knots and smooths rough cuticles to seal in hydration. Um, this is definitely not for my my type of hair um i can't remember if we filled out a profile for the walmart beauty box um i have the straightest hair you could possibly imagine um so this is definitely not a product that's going to work for me um but 
my coworker, I don't know if she uses a product like this at all because she has very, very, very short curls. Um, well, not very, very short. She has fairly short curls. So I'm not sure if she uses a product like this or not, but um, I might ask her if if this is something she would use or want um, because she does have natural hair. So um, yeah, I might take this to her and see if she's interested in it. So Natasha, this is coming for you, girl, <laughs> um, because that's not gonna do me any good and that's totally fine and I've totally done that before with other products from this box and all of my other ones because it just happens. And like I said, I don't know if we filled out a profile for this box or not, I can't remember. Um, so it would totally make sense if we did not. If we did, I don't know why I got that product because I would have said like I have straight hair obviously. Um, so I don't know, like I'm not opposed to conditioners but obviously I don't need like finger detangling for curls. Um, so I don't know, don't know, don't know. Anyways, um, let's see, Listerine tabs, chewable tablets, chew to transform from a solid to a liquid in seconds. Clean mint chewable tablets. What? That is, oh, interesting. There's eight of them. They have some like fake sugars in here, so that's not super great. Um, I don't actually know if like, does regular Listerine have sugar in it, like fake sugars? Like this has xylitol, erythritol, and sucralose in it. I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients of my Listerine. Not that you swallow it, but still, like it can't be good to just be rubbing or swishing fake sugars all around your mouth when you're like trying to clean your mouth. Like what? Um, and this one you must swallow. Do you swallow this? Yeah, chew, swish, swallow. I'm so confused. Like it says sugar-free, but there's fake sugars in here. This is so interesting though. This would be really nice to just, like, have at work, I think. Not that it would be hard to have, like, a travel size Listerine at work, but you know what I mean. Might be nice to have in your, like, carry-on because it's solid. Very curious about that. Very, very curious. There's eight tablets. Okay, then the last product is a NYX product. It says Filler Instinct Bitten Pout Plumping Lip Color. If this is the color, that is really dark. Um, and definitely, definitely passing that along. Colors will vary. This is like a bright pink that's shown. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I wear like this is all I wear is Burt's Bees, honey. Like I don't wear lip color. Well, okay, that's not true. I actually have the other, oops, other lip product I wear. Occasionally, I will wear this plumping lip gloss, this Pillow Plump by Soap and Glory. Um, the sexy mother pucker. So, and this is like the slightest tinge of color, but this, if this is the color, whew, girl too dark for me um so I'm not sure about all that <laughs> but I have another friend who loves lip products that I can pass that along to so these two products um this can go to my current coworker probably and this can go to one of my former coworkers. the packaging is really cute but that is not for me if that's a color, but I am really loving these two products um, to try. This one I really love already, and this one is really interesting. I'm very curious about this. So um, four out of six is pretty solid, and typically I love five to six of the products. Like, you know, if there's six, like I typically love 
almost all or all of the products and here I love the majority so um and like this if it was clear I would totally be into it and this if it was um maybe not like a leave-in conditioner type product because my hair just can't handle that it's too much if it was just like a conditioner for like the shower I'd be all about it but my hair is so thin and fine I can't do I can't do like a leave-in conditioner type product so um but the rest of this I'm all about that so anyways $6.95 um I've gotten a lot of products in my Walmart beauty boxes that I really love um and then lastly I have my Erin Condren order which came in like just a boring box but it's just the warehouse sale so I'm not it's totally fine some people get all upset about their boxes and it makes me laugh <laughs> um anyways oh right I forgot about this oh my gosh so excited I forgot what I even ordered. <laughs> I knew I didn't order much, but um, okay. So the first thing I ordered was this pencil case, which I have a couple of them. I have the gray velvety one, and then I have the clear one that was like a freebie that has like sparkles on it. And then just those two. I might have one more. I can't remember. Um, the gray one is the Hello Kitty one, right? I think so. And then this is the black, black velvet one. Um, they do have a strap on them so they can like stick them on top of um, a planner or whatever, um, but they are great. They actually hold quite a few um, pens and pencils and it's like a perfect amount for on the go. Um, you can hold like, I don't know, six to eight different things in here, which is a really, really nice amount um i've been really really happy with these and you can kind of designate like i have one that's all of like the colors for my power sheets and i have um another one set up for like a different planner and i've found that that's really nice because i can just like take just this tiny thing with one planner and it has everything i need so um instead of having like a giant setup or like having to go and find things like when I have like different color pencils or highlighters or whatever I can just take this one tiny little little guy with me so I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for but it was super cheap and I was like I'm just going to grab that since it's black and then they had a restock of the flora planty pouch um which was not part of the um warehouse sale but when they first launched the flora design they had already sold out of this by the time that I placed my order um but I definitely wanted it so because they had restocked it I was like oh I'm picking that up <laughs> um so it's the blue um it just says flora I guess because it has a bunch of the different flowers on it um, and then this says plan for tomorrow celebrate today and has again some of the flora flowers on it I wish they could make this like straight because this is so thick that like cutting it is difficult I wonder if I could frame it and like have that not show because this is so pretty um, but like when they put it, it's so clever because when they put it on here and you flip it over, like it shows how it's like used. Ugh, I just, I love it though. Um, but this is the pouch. It's the light blue with the flowers and then it has rose gold hardware, light blue inside. It's got a lining and then it has the um, rose gold band and there is another pocket back here. I use these at work constantly. Um, I have one like at work. I think I have a black one with the asterisk on it right now. Um, last year I used one that matched like my work school colors and I like can fit my cell phone in there like gum, tissues, um, like breath mints, like medicine, pens, pencils, like all sorts of stuff that I take back and forth from my desk to my classroom. Um, like my office desk to my classroom that like all the stuff I need. I can put tampons in there, like to go to the bathroom, all sorts of stuff that the kids don't need to know that I have. I can put my keys in there and then I can just like put it on my hand. I can put it on my planner. Like I can be hands free. Like it just, it's so perfect. <laughs> um, I never really use this back pocket for anything, but you could. Um, I guess, especially like pens, like if you put it, you know, 
like just some skinny pens with clips especially um, but I don't really ever use that one but I knew I had to have the flora pouch most definitely and then this was an a5 a5 is that what size this was um notebook Oh, that needs to stay down. Um, so we have not had, um, sorry for that awkward light glare. Um, we've not had A5 notebooks before. We've had other A5 different types of journals and now we have the A5 Daily Duo and stuff like that. But this is our first A5 notebook and they were on sale for like $9. I didn't really care for the other pattern. It was like purple plaid or something like that. Um, but I think this was $9 and I was like, oh my God, I don't need another notebook, but it's so cute. And I love the flora pattern um, or the rose pattern. And it says love, gratitude, grace, and friendship. Embrace the patterns of life. No, embrace the fullness of life. <laughs> And then it's Take Note, Classic Line Notebook. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for this. I want like all the notebooks in this size. Like this is just too cute. So all the pages just have the flowers in the corners. The paper looks really yellow. That's really interesting. Let me grab my planner. Um, Maybe it's just my eyes oh you know what it is oh my gosh I'm wearing um blue light glasses <laughs> oh that's funny too too funny it does look a little bit more yellow than this paper though I still feel like this is a little bit more yellow than the normal paper but yeah with blue light glasses on it looks really yellow <laughs> that's too funny though um because that's kind of how blue light glasses work is that they block the blue light by providing yellow light. Um, anyways, so this is adorable. It has the dashboard, no pockets, no stickers or anything, which is totally fine by me. And it has a really nice silver coil. I don't know how many pages are in here. I can't remember, but I did not even care. Um, but I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. And I have so many notebooks, but I was like, I have to it has the flowers like if it was a different pattern I probably would have skipped it and been like okay I can just wait till there's like one that I fall in love with but I fell in love with this one because it's flowers like it's the flora pattern like oh, you guys I can't I can't do it I can't so I just got these two things from the warehouse sale and then I picked up this from the original release of the flora pattern. And that is everything from Simply Gilded, Lexi Kylie Designs, Walmart Beauty Box, and Erin Condren. And that is everything for this haul. Please let me know down below what you guys thought was your favorite thing. And I'm gonna go, my throat hurts. I have some work to do tonight and I need some water. Um, my throat's been a little sore and that's no good. I'm not a fan about that at all. Um, so yeah, I need to get some sleep tonight, but I need to go do some work. <sighs> so there's that. All right, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope you subscribe and I hope all the things. <laughs> Wish you guys a great week and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, love you guys, bye.